all right simply no editing nothing like that today no intro music no uh glamour and glitz this is just straight up real short video because i don't have a lot of time it's hotter than two rats humping in a wool sock out here and i'm burning up and i'm wanting to get done but <clears throat> something that a lot of gardeners do not consider when they're working in the garden is weather patterns after we get everything planted and we're going around and oh yes my garden's looking lovely we get out here and till okay and we try to weed keep the grass out of the garden now as you can tell by looking out through here i've left grass in the garden everybody can see that the okra especially i let grass stay around the green beans i've got to get in here and pull these out this uh evening if i can but right now i'm running my tiller now the point that a lot of people don't consider is this ground has got a crust on it and it goes down about i don't know two or three inches or eh, maybe two inches then it starts changing colors that's your moisture no rain your ground's got to have moisture in it or your plants aren't going to have anything now what happens when we till all this is we expose that moist dirt that is underneath that hardened layer of ground and we rotate it that's simply what a tiller does is it rotates the dirt as you can see by the shape of the tines on the tiller it fluffs the dirt it pulls everything loose the grass everything that's in your way that is stopping your plants from growing and once you've turned that dirt guess what you've done you've released that moisture in the ground and a lot of crops fail and a lot of gardeners have issues and they have to come out here water 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 and if you will just take your time check your weather pattern and schedule your days to work inside your garden doing the groundwork consistently with the weather it'll be a lot easier on you now another reason i leave grass and i've really got to thin that oak out please look over it is the moisture every morning when i wake up and i walk through the yard like most people do your shoes get wet from what from moisture this helps me keep some groundwater early in the morning on these plants now as you can tell my tomatoes are growing really well but i do occasionally come out here and turn a water hose on and it's easy for me to hit these tomato plants it's not easy for me to get the rest of the stuff out here in the garden that's 200 foot away on the other side now we planted sweet potatoes last week and they look horrible because i haven't watered them so what i'm doing right now is i'm trying to prep this garden for a couple small showers all right so tonight with it being 40 percent chance of rain tomorrow or some thunderstorms i'm gambling it could not couldn't come through i mean it could still be dry and i'll be out here watering tomorrow evening <clears throat> because i have released the moisture out of the soil by turning it and i've got to thin out some squash plants and some cucumber plants and things of that nature so that's your number one mistake i'm telling you right now pay attention to what the weather patterns doing in your area before you get out here and you play in your garden flower beds i'm not really worried about it you can control a flower bed look at this oh my god you can't even see the okra i really got to get in here and work we're going to be using some um uh grass killer around the okra this year over the top it's a product uh high yield over the top and you can spray it around pretty much everything in the garden except your corn you don't want it around your corn because it'll kill it any kind of johnson grass and things like that it takes care of this grass right here it'll knock it back to manageable i know everybody says oh my gosh you're spraying and you've got all these beehives 
Yeah, I am. And I'm going to be spraying it around my beehives too shortly. Probably this evening to kill some of the grass. That's what it is. It's a grass killer. Uh, bees don't land on grass and they're not going to get on this okra right now because nothing's blooming in my garden. It's pretty damn safe to use around your hives if you time it correctly. Look at how those lovely tomato plants are pruned. <laughs> Not. These are some that got hit by frost. And I'm just letting them go. I actually cut the top out of them when the frost hit because it killed it. And uh, most people would be pruning these and cutting these back. Um, no. I've got too many things to do. And everybody says, oh, just take a second. Yeah, it will. <laughs> But I'm not going to do it because I've not seen a great difference in pruned tomato plants and non-prunes. But that's it for the video. Let's just go back to what I was saying. Make sure you got your weather patterns down correct. Now, Lance, <clears throat> I'm taking a chance today by doing this. But when I checked the weather and they said thunderstorms possible for tomorrow, then that's what I got to do. I'm going to cut the grass under. Hopefully it rains. If it don't, then I'll be out here with a bucket and a, a cup pouring water on them. Uh, and I will fertilize my grapevines in the little vineyard and the trees we have in the orchard. So, common mistake you make. Because people do not realize that working that ground up releases most of the moisture that is contained around the root system. Therefore, you're going to have some wilting plants and things of that nature. So, until next time, leave me a comment, hit a like, subscribe, send me a question. I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. But until uh, the next video, I guess this is it. We got to get back to work. So, y'all have a great week, and I'm going to sit here and fight these gnats off for a little bit. Until the next one, adios. See you later.